Hi guys, I'm Gesha. Welcome to the channel and welcome to our coffee times. Today I thought I would bring you something fun, something that includes book recommendations in case that you're still looking for books to read this month or next month. We always love to extend the spooky season. So these are book recommendations based on Halloween movies. It's coffee time. So I have picked 10 movies that are either based specifically on Halloween or classic horror movies that people love to watch around the Halloween month, around the Halloween season. And I have tried to look for books that kind of match the type of vibe, the type of story, and I really hope that you enjoy it. So let's go check those 10. Before we move forward though, and before I forget, if you love horror and books, please remember that you have the option, if you want, if you like the content, to subscribe to the channel before you leave and also to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more coffee times. Let's start with the one that was one of my first ever horror movies and that is The Exorcist from 1973 uh, where a 12 year old girl is being possessed and we have a priest that is kind of, you know, his beliefs are being put to test. <laughs> So for this movie, which was amazing, and I still love it so much, um, I wanted to pick two books. So in case that you want to read something uh, that is more oriented to YA readers, you can always read My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. This is about a group of girls and one of them disappears one night and she ends up coming back but something has changed something's different about her and at some point of course the friends start to realize that she might be possessed by an evil spirit and the other one that i would like to mention is one that i recently read and i know it's not for everybody but that is paul tremblay's a head full of ghosts this has to do with a, a family whose older daughter starts to exhibit really weird behavior and they start to kind of be scared that the daughter is possessed by an evil spirit so they also seek help um but this book was very slow paced however it was so well written and it combines kind of these family drama that they have with the part of show business as well and it was really interesting for me to read but it's not like full-on horror so maybe it's good for people that are looking for spooky but not too extreme horror next we have the classic movie friday the 13th from 1980 these triggered such a big franchise and we all know the story we are following jason Voorhees that returns every year to camp crystal lake to claim the lives of young teenagers that are engaging in premarital sexual relationships because he doesn't like teens having what Sheldon would call coitus uh, before marriage and <laughs> that is basically the plot, you're welcome <laughs> so from Camp Crystal Lake we're going to Camp Silver Lake because we have the YA point horror book Camp Fear by Carol Ellis and this follows a group of campers that are going um, into a summer camp and basically while they're there the counselors are really scared that the kids are going to find out their dark secret being that in that camp years before the counselors were campers themselves and one of the campers didn't make it back home the next movie is The Evil Dead from 1981. This is a classic that combines horror with comedy um, directed by Sam Raimi in which, you know, you have kind of like a typical trope in which people go into a cabin and they unleash an evil power from a book. As for the book, I would like to recommend you John Dies at the End by David Wong and this is now a trilogy. Um, because the, this book was also comedy combined with horror so it's kind of gore and bloody but it's also a lot of fun so the plot follows John and David and they are two smart guys um, cynical and kind of directionless in life and they decide to try this new drug that is going around called soy sauce <laughs> and this allows you to have kind of like a trips you know kind of experiences in parallel universes things like that like it's just weird 
and uh, the funny thing about it is that these guys are confronting everything like it's the most normal thing ever like it's super chill um and i don't know it's just fun combined with horror so if you enjoyed the evil dead you might want to check out this trilogy moving on with clue from 1985 and this is based on the board game but this is such a fun great movie kind of exploring your typical whodunit scenario um, this is more a mystery thriller comedy not so much horror but I wanted to include it here because not so many people maybe have heard about this film and I think it's great so you should watch it if you haven't yet um, and for this one honestly if you want to read something that is adult I would recommend you to check any of Agatha Christie's stories because she is one of the masters when it comes to the whodunit stories um, and for YA I did read One of Us is Lying by Karen McManus and I thought it was really nice it was really entertaining um, and it's also kind of a group of friends and they all go into the tension um, and the, the thing is six go into the tension and only five make it out alive so who has killed this person what happened can any could anybody from outside have went into the room who is lying um, so it's kind of like cool I, I do always love scenarios in which something happens and then you have to kind of unravel everyone's stories and uh, they are also giving kind of interviews so you're kind of trying to figure it out who's saying something that is incriminating them so I really enjoyed it next we have Hocus Pocus from 1993 this is one for the whole family I love to rewatch this movie, it's just so much fun and I decided to pick here a book that actually you can enjoy as well with the whole family in case you have kids, nephews, whoever that you would like to share a book with and that is The Witches by Roald Dahl. So Roald Dahl, I actually discovered him first with his short stories for adults that are extremely disturbing <laughs> and I absolutely love them and the ending of those short stories are like what the F, what the F? Um, but he also has a lot of children's books and funny enough when I was a kid I had never read any of his books but I absolutely love the story about the witches because it's not portraying witches as you normally know them they're not wearing like black cloaks they are not you know so easy to identify and as well as in Hocus Pocus we follow kids that are trying to fight against the witches the next movie is another one for the whole family and that is Double Double Toil and Trouble also from 1993 um, the book that I have chosen here though is very dark and an adult book and that is a breed by Chase Novak and I chose this one because as well as in the movie we have here twins which in the case of the book they are not so nice <laughs> um, so this book I really enjoyed it the only thing that maybe some people don't like is that it is very slow paced it takes a while until you get to the really good stuff but I really liked the story because it was very atmospheric and very dark and it's about this couple that has literally tried anything to get pregnant but they just can't and they decide to travel to Slovakia to try a therapy that is questionable <laughs> to say the least and the woman ends up having twins and as the twins grow older um, they start to kind of exhibit kind of weird behaviors and I don't want to say anything else because I think you should discover it yourself if you want to go into this book. Um, there is a second follow-up book, a sequel that I still have not read, Brood, but I do want a copy and I want to check it out. But if you're looking for a really dark kind of weird story about twins that is a bit different, um, I would encourage you to give this one a try. Another classic, Scream from 1996. I absolutely love this movie. It changed a little bit the horror genre for me. And one of the things that this movie had was a kind of new interpretation on the final girl scenario. So that's why I chose a book called The Final Girl by Stephen Graham Jones, which is basically his way of, you know, um, putting on paper his love for, um, final girl stories and slashers and this is what it actually is you know it is kind of when you go into it you need to think that this book was written as if it were a screenplay so we are changing point of views all the time as if it were you know like scene cut scene next scene you know things like that so um, it is the format can be a little bit confusing for some people because the POV is changing all the time so I just wanted to put it out there 
But apart from that, the book explores basically the concept of the final girl slashers and it is fun and I don't know, I just really love it. I think it's one of those books that you are going to enjoy if you are a more hardcore horror fan um, and if you love your typical horror story with a final girl. Next we have The Craft from 1996 and this is such a beloved classic. Um, I think they have just um, remade it and I have like zero interest in that because this movie you just cannot redo this it's impossible <laughs> um but it was kind of hard to find a book that would fit kind of the story we have here a group of teenagers teenage girls are kind of playing with uh, witchcraft until they release a evil force that they are unable to control but i chose the secret circle trilogy by lj smith this is kind of more teenage angst than the movie was. We follow a girl that it is initiated in the town coven and she of course kind of likes um, the coven's ruler's boyfriend so it's kind of like a little bit more on the teenager cheesy side um, in comparison to the craft but it's kind of like the closest thing that I could find that I have that I know of so if you know anything else that um, it's kind of like the craft let me know down below the next one is sleepy hollow from 1999 directed by tim burton and this one i just love to watch because it is fun dark and twisted and christopher walken in this movie i just love him so much um and i wanted to look for a book that also has to do with some legend the book that I have chosen is The Remaking by Clay McLeod Chapman. I read this book and absolutely loved it. And this is a book that it is for people that love, you know, books that combine horror and movie sets or like the movie industry and cursed movies or cursed movie sets, things like that. Um, and it was such a treat. It follows different timelines and it's kind of telling a urban legend um through the years and it was just fantastic i just don't want to tell you exactly what the urban legend is about and anything so that i don't spoil it for you it is sort of a short-ish book i think it's on the 300 pages so if you want to have a nice spooky urban legend book and if you love horror movies and the movie industry in general i recommend you to check this one out and i would like to finish with one of my absolute absolute favorite movies to watch and re-watch anytime but especially halloween night and that is trick or treat from 2009 sam is my boy <laughs> i love that movie so much and it is a movie that is basically different short stories but they are all kind of intertwined in the same town and it is so wonderful all the stories are amazing all the characters are amazing and i just love it so much too much too much and for this one i chose 13 tales of horror by point horror and this is one that compiles 13 stories by authors that were mostly more active in the 80s like Errol Stein and you're going to find short stories about the dead people calling you vampires wax museums like anything you can imagine is in there um so if you're looking for some short horror stories for this halloween night you still have time to check this one out i haven't heard many people talking about it but it is one of the you know kind of quickest short stories that you can read also really easy to read because these are point horror we tend to be easier to read books uh fast paced so yeah i really enjoyed this one all right guys so these were 10 halloween movies and some book recommendations based on those movies i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you have any other recommendations um that fit these movies just let me know in the comments down below let's talk about it Thanks so much for watching you guys please give the video a big thumbs up for support if you want to follow me on other social media the links are always down below for you in the description box and i hope to see you all in the next coffee time bye